Hi. Hi, Brother Sewing and Crafting Family. I'm Angela Wolf. And I'm Mr. Domestic. Hi. And do we have a fun show for you today? I'm just going to make sure that we have sound. You know how that works. How are you, Matthew? I'm awesome. I'm playing with my hair, as you can see. It was like turquoise on accident before, and then I bleached it. And this was supposed to be gray, but this happened. It, whatever, it's fun. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm Wait a minute. My hair. <laughs> so, okay, I have to just tell you. I gotta. Sh I'll share this photo just because uh, we're just with close friends, right? Yeah. So this weekend, I decided to color my hair too, and. It's supposed, I like my, I take all the highlights out so it goes back to my brunette and then in the sun. And this is what it looked like as I was mixing it. That's and so then, scary. I know. So then Wynn saw you and said, are you trying to be like Mr. Domestic? I go, no, it's going to come out brown, I swear. <laughs> it was so like, the, whenever I put this in, it was like white. And then it, it just gradually turned blue. I was like, what is going on? That's like <laughs> magic and witchcraft. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good though. And, mm. and. Mine's brown, so I guess uh, I like yours though. So, um, hey, I have some exciting things for you. I see everybody rolling in. They're all saying they can't wait to see my skirt. Well, I kind of cheated a little bit, Matthew. So, you know this quilt block that you taught me last time? Mm-hmm. Which I thought was awesome. Yeah. I, I pieced together different, like, denim colors. And I just had a meeting with my uh, fashion sewing club two hours ago, and they kind of helped me figure out how to angle it. I still need some help, but i give you a little preview. I want to see. Okay. Yes. All oh, right. So, yeah. I, can you see this okay over here? Yeah. Yes. It's kind of dark, but I can see it. I'm doing my, let's see if I can put this light on. I've had all the lights off. It's about 100 degrees in my office, so Aww. they're fixing the air conditioning as we I'm speak. sorry about that. It's like 67 in my house. I mean, I'm just saying, not to rub it in or whatever, but we're sharing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so, Matthew, first of all, first of all that's not even funny <laughs> because um, I have a, I, for three days, I've had a post-it note on my computer screen. Don't forget your pants because it's so hot in here that I'm running around and I'm thinking if I go live, it'll be like one of those very bad commercials. So I, I'm wearing a quilted top for you today. It's beautiful. It's not really quilted. It's pieced. I know. It's beautiful. You're so skilled. You're such a talented like maker and sewist. Like I've always been inspired by you. Well, Even when I was a little boy because we're like the same age or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't call me your grandma or anything, we're good. <laughs> oh, gosh. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to go and show you what I have on here. And you tell me if you could give me a little bit of help. So, yes. um, all right. On here. Uh-huh. The wolf pack kind of helps me if I'm doing my Kate skirt. Now it's going to be a very short skirt because I'm not filling all this in. So we're going right. with like right. maybe 12 inches. It's going to be a bathing suit cover up for the boat. I saw that that fish your daughter caught. Yeah, it was a, a girl. spring chinook. It's like the hardest fish to cook to catch on the Columbia, and she was the only one that got it on the bank. Oh, that, and she had a pink rod, which is awesome. She did. He did. And I was sitting there on the um by mm -hmm. the, the the tent and then my spouse went to go get go get something from the truck and as soon as he did that, then it was the fish that came and I just sat there. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get up and deal with it. And everyone was like, What's wrong with you, man? I was like, I'm not here for that. I'm not here. So my spouse came back and then got the fish. I was like, No. That I'm is hilarious. The fish was bigger than she was. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So this is going to be the hem of my skirt. Okay. So I haven't pieced it all together yet, but I figured like you have to use your imagination, I guess. Yeah. Kind of like that. What is, how does that look? I think it's beautiful. So then when I'm here, I could just line up my skirt. So I have to fill in enough pieces for the rest of this. And I couldn't decide if after this point, if I should just do one color or if I should just keep piecing in other. I mean, it looks like you just wanted to make a quilt, to be honest. You went to town. <laughs> quilt for my body. Yeah, a body quilt. Oh, that's really cool. Isn't that fun? I like it. That's really cool. Well, 
uh, thanks to your expertise, I learned from the best. Well, you uh, know. So if I have it like that, I could technically, I just need a little bit more then, which would be great because these, these things are fun to sew, but they're a um, little monotonous. Oh, no, I get it. But you could also just use it as like a border on the bottom and then like the top can be like a uh, one piece of fabric or something. You don't have to make it the whole thing. I mean, if you want to, be extra about it. How does that look? I like it. Not too much. I was no, very no one, That one that's closest to you, why is it going up, down, instead of side to side? Can you, no, that, the one, that one, down, 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 that one, that one. Can you twist it to where it's, oh, because you sewed it. You already sewed it. Yeah, because this is the hemline. So all of this has to be even down here. Like, oh, this will be like this after I square all that off. So that's the bottom hemline. Got it. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, and I already surged it in everything. Oh, uh, well, then you can make it a design element. Just throw another horizontal one over on the other side and call it a day. And be like, I meant to do that. Oh, well. I mean, it's cute. Beans, beans, that's the word for today, beans. Um, see, this is what happens when it's 80 degrees in my office. Mm -hmm. I lose, I lose my um, brain cells. Okay, so I should technically go like this. Yeah, then that would be super fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? How did I miss then, that? See Angela right there, how they're all going horizontal. If you just had that as like the base of your skirt and then had another stripe where you did those triangles and then the rest of it can just be the lighter color, that would look cute and then you'd be done. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. Right? That's like yeah. whenever I make a couple quilt blocks and instead of finishing the whole quilt, I'll just put like a little a strip of quilt blocks and then like the top and the bottom will be one fabric and I'm like, God, I made a quilt. So this piece here would have... I'd have to finish it like to here probably. So it could go maybe, no, that's the wrong way. Like that? Yeah, I'm so proud of you, Angela. I'm so excited. My mom, by the way, loves you because she's been trying to give you the quilt forever. She called me and said, did I seriously see you do that? Oh, yay. So that one has to go. That means I need to start making some clothes out of fairness. Yeah, I think you do. I have to give you a challenge. Of yeah, some give sort. me a challenge um, for next time, and then I'll do it. All right. So how about like that? And then how about like that? Because the gray lines are kind of. I think it's beautiful. All right. And so I need one more there. It's like a puzzle. It is like a puzzle. But the hard, hard part that I have is... At first, I was like, okay, so how do you sew like around these corners? And then I went back and watched your video. So am I doing it right where you sew like these pieces together and then square it off? Mm -hmm. Like I would sew all the lines together like mm -hmm. that, all this, mm -hmm. all this, all this. Mm -hmm. But I would have to keep going because you can't really sew a triangle in there. That would be kind of, well, you could. I mean, then. you could. Okay. So I'm on the right track. Yeah, so I'm really proud of you. It's going you to did, look. You get an A for this. A, a plus really, even. I really only need like another couple pieces up there. So. Uh -huh. I could just go solid. Do you think I should do the same thing on the back or just do a solid piece on the back? Does anybody really care what the back looks like? Um. I mean, it depends on what kind of a statement you're trying to make. If you don't want there to be a party in the back and you want the party up front, then don't put it in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll do a party up front. Yeah. Now, I just have to make sure. Now, Matthew, I've taught all the ladies that when they're making it out a garment, you have to, placement is the most important, which is like kind right. of my thing for embroidery. So I got to make sure there's nothing really weird. Oh, wait a minute. I have a lot more to go. This is only half of a skirt. Yeah. All right. So I just have to make sure there's nothing weird right there. And I think we're okay. All right. Yeah. That's, that's as far as I made it. Um, oh, I hate to say it. I would have gone further if it wasn't so hot in here. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Where do you live? 
Are you allowed to say that on the interweb? You live in a hot place. South I, I, actually, I live in Michigan and yeah. it went from like 50 degrees to uh, about, I don't know, 80 yesterday, but um, I haven't used the air conditioner yet this year. And so it has to be re, I don't know, something, something in the bank isn't working. Oh, <laughs> no. Thanks, Belle. Hey, Cecile. <laughs> Arnell. Hey, Arnell, how you doing? How you doing? Or whatever she does. <laughs> yes. How solid on the back is what everybody says. Yeah. How solid on the back with two little pockets. That would be good oh, one. then you could do two pockets with the, the quilt blocks. That would be really cute. Then we go together. It's kind of like whenever I want to make a fancy tote, like when I went and then I'll do like a one panel that's awesome. I'll be like, no one will see the inside part or the other side. It doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> Susan says solid on the back. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Call it a day. Be done. Unless you want to keep. <laughs> love watching. Well, I love learning from Matthew. So uh, what do you got for me today? You got a new quilt block I can I see? Do. Or yeah. So watch. Because oh, honestly, cool. you never know. This one might inspire you to make something else or to add something to your um, your skirt. Or you can make a top. So I know you're familiar with this pattern. Oh. Wait. Should how I? It's a houndstooth pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you can make this any size you wanted to, but I'm going to show you how to do it um, using like what, what they call in quilting as a jelly roll. Do you know what a jelly roll is? A uh, I think I've seen it. I mean, and I'm not on the toaster, by the way. That's the first thing I think of is when I see your jelly roll. But is it like just a bunch of fabric that's rolled up yeah, together? It's fabric strips. Usually it's like 40 to 41 like strips, and they're all two and a half inches wide with the fabric. So that's one of the pre-cuts that quilters can buy. So a lot of people have them. So I decided to make this using the that as the base for the sizes that I want. Okay. Are you going to make it now? I'm ready for you. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> Put her on the spot. <laughs> just, just, just for the record, if you guys hear some odd noises, they're here fixing my air conditioner. I'm doing the happy dance. So as long as you guys don't mind the noises, I'll... I'll go with your program and don't look at my uh, dripping makeup. I, no one can, you know what? All I see is a beautiful woman in front of me. It doesn't oh. matter, right? Right. And your spirit's so awesome. It doesn't matter. We love you're you, just, Angela. Oh, Matthew, you're just trying to get me to sew this quilt. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what, um, let's see. Let me get a piece of paper because last time I had to go back. And watch the entire video to figure out what I had to cut out. Well, so this I'll one I do. Here. This one I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. So that Check one this. I think is like 15 minutes. So if you needed to go back, you could. Look at what I made this week. That's really foxy. What is it? It's it's an apron. I'm just not finished with it yet. Oh, okay. I love it. I know, isn't it cute? We did that last week on Brother Faith. All right, so. Pen and paper. Everyone that's sewing along, grab your pen and paper. And what did you call that again? This is the houndstooth pattern. Houndstooth pattern. Hmm. You know houndstooth like apparel people wear and stuff? Yeah, I just had never seen one that big. Oh, well, yeah, because it's a quilter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I also learned the bigger you go with the blocks, the faster you're done. So there's that. <laughs> there you go. So... You'll need two and a half inch with the, just for this, you'll need like one with the fabric strip that's like um, one color and another one that's the other color. And then these squares are six inch squares. So you'll need four six inch squares of one color and then one six inch square of a different color and then two, two and a half inch by with the fabric strips of, of one of one, one in one. One and one. All right, so four, four six inch squares. And sorry, it's the ring doorbell. Oh, hi. hi. So the camera's on. I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> so four six inch squares of color one. Yeah. See, there go there they go. They're off to fix. Okay, so uh, four section squares of color one, one section square of, oh, my hair keeps blowing up my nose. One six inch square of color two, 
two, two and a half wide by. With the fabric. The width of the fabric. What was the width of the fabric again? Um, usually it is around 42 to 44 inches in quilters cotton. But you use whatever. All right. One of each color. Yeah. Like this would look really cool with two different kinds of denim if you had it. I, I do. Love, do you love denim? Denim is my favorite. I love denim to play with. <laughs> they thought it was their ring doorbell. You guys are hilarious. And yes, Helen, I'm saying yay too. Okay, so I have more of that fabric. So what I'm using of that fabric is one is a rayon looking denim and the other one is tensile, which is really uh, like a natural fiber. It kind of wrinkles a little bit, but it's really lightweight and very cool to wear, like as in cool as in air conditioning. Um, I'm cool. So You're cool. You're cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking that design would be really cute. I love skirts. I would do another skirt or um, a pair of shorts, except I'd have to be really careful where that arrow went. Wait, how does it go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> Maybe I could do it as a bathing suit cover up and just do a really simple skirt with an elastic waist. I would support that. I support that decision. Okay. Do you have a cat? Looks like a cat in the middle of that block. I don't. <laughs> Which block? This one? <laughs> that doesn't look like this. I don't see a cat. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. I guess more of a rabbit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do I have to um, cut these right now? Yeah. Okay. You have to at least get started to, to show everyone. I mean. Okay, so you guide me. I gotta, let's see if I can move. I mean, why right? do you all wanna see Angela sew another quilt block, folks? Yeah, you if better you do, ask. Like, thumbs up or whatever, or like like it, or um, tell us in the what comments is, or something. Can you <laughs> see? Matthew, can you see the comments? No, I can't see any of them. If you click on the top right side where it says comments, Oh, live comments. I was in private chat again. That happened last time. I know. So now you can see. Hi, everybody. Uh, hey, those are all nice comments, too. I love nice comments. <laughs> <laughs> everybody says yes. All right, I'll go cut. So do you think? All right, I have a little bit more denim. I don't want to use too much of that uh, because if I run out, my skirt here is. No, what am I going to well, do with this? Thing? Well, how about you don't jump to that fabric first? Do some like scrap fabric. That way you don't, in case you like. Mess it up. You don't mess up fabric that you want to use. Well, I mean, you want to tell you what to do, so you do whatever you're gonna do. I'm getting pretty good at messing up. I've got so many of these that don't match. I could probably do a whole nother outfit. I bet. Or you can make up a, a purse. Or I don't know. <laughs> I cannot believe I did not notice that I had this one backwards. Hi, was Hi, Fran. Hi, Barbara. All right, let's see what I got. What about, um, hmm. Does, how about, um, well, Matthew, I still have some more of your fabric. Do it. So it could be, oh. am I scaring you? Are, are you scaring me? No. Yeah, where did, where did you get those glasses? <laughs> these, are, these are what I'm referring to as my side eye glasses that I put them on before I go out into my neighborhood so they can't see me giving them the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't know. I won't walk through the mailbox. Like there's and with the, all covered, and then they don't, I don't they can't see any facial expressions. They can't see nothing because it's not cute. <laughs> you are not right. Do it, do it. How about these two again? So That's then I'll great. have I'll have my own collection of your fabric in these different quilt blocks. We and do then, and Put then you, know, you can make yourself a quilt. Yeah. Right. Pajama pants. That's what I'm working for. All right. So let's head over. I'll cut. See if I can do this to a little more impressive than last time. 
now that I'm on my main cutting area. All right. you. you did way more than I figured you would, so way to go. Um, that's all you have to do is challenge me. If you had just said go so, I wouldn't have done it. Oh yeah. Okay. So this will be my main color. Does that sound good or would you do like I this like as that. Well, it's my fabric, so of course it should be the main one. Okay. For those that don't know, I designed fabric also, and Angela was a part of one of my parties, and I sent her some fabric, and she made some cool stuff, and she had some left over. Actually, I was part of two of your parties. You were. It's awesome, by the way. I love parties. Okay, so here we go. I got to cut four six-inch. Thank you, six Mary. Hi, Marty. Yeah, so you'll need four six-inch squares. I'm cutting off the grain line. Do you do that usually? I mean, not the grain line, the salvage. I don't. I don't do a lot of stuff though. <laughs> yes, you do. Honestly, with the salvage, I'll cut like um, maybe a half of it, half inch off, so that the other half can be in the um, the seam allowance and won't be seen, so I can use all the fabric. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, six inch. Thank y'all. I like seeing the comments. They're really nice. So you know what I'm going to do now that I have my hair blue? What? Well, I have to get a blue outfit, and then I think I'm going to have a, um, a blue background. And then Grover and I are going to take family photos, like real serious family photos. I'll, like, dress similarly, and I'll put it in a frame. <laughs> I thought that would be cute. That would be very cute. We must. That's what color it is. It's Grover blue, or it will be when it fades a little bit. Grover blue. Yeah. Well, you should have seen Wynn's face when he saw that little uh, bowl of stuff I was putting on my head. He just sat there and waited, waited, and waited. <laughs> Two and a half. I don't know why I have this backwards. I always have to cut with my right hand. It's okay. Uh, um, Mary, you can buy my fabric. I know that, um, am I allowed to say stores or no? Uh, just tell them to message you because we're on the brother page. Yeah, send me a message about where to find my fabrics. But if you're following me like on, on my social media stuff, which everyone in this video should be running to go follow me everywhere on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram or my newsletter, I'll announce it and, and let you know. But if you want to know where my, my fabric is, then um, like DM, slide into my DM and I'll respond. There you go. All right. I'm getting this there. This fun. I love getting on the show and like um, telling you what to do and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Well, of course you'll be in my, you'll be in my photo of the blues. Okay. I love you. That was my daughter. She's seven. And when I said I was going to take a photo with Grover, she was like, what about me? <laughs> oh. Okay. So I got two of these. I think they're the same. Pretty close. Um, and then I just need one more six inch. I actually wasn't sure what you're going to do to me today. So I actually have the iron on. So I just will have to press this piece here. This piece is like just kind of some junk fabric, I would say. But it's so are you fabric. saying that the other piece of fabric is junk fabric too? Your fabric is not junk. This <laughs> is junk. Your fabric is gorgeous. It's a rayon. That one's a cotton. Uh, but that rayon that I have of yours, I don't know if everybody remembers. I made that last. Um, it's like a blue rayon. I made a, a skirt out. Oh, I made the Kate skirt out of it. Do you have boy patterns? Nope. Just girl patterns. But your daughter would look cute in them, although she has to downsize them a little bit at this yeah, point. I know how to do that. Well, why? Oh, I, I can make myself a girl pattern. Why not? I'll support you. Oh, thank you. I'll make I'll a pair of jeans. Wynn wants me to make a pair of jeans. I could come up with a pair of boy jeans. Oh, yeah. Do that. I haven't made jeans in a while because my um, badonka dunk keeps changing sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Like last time I made jeans, like I was the skinniest I had been in a long time and they were great and they fit for like a week and then I couldn't wear them again. <laughs> Are you going to tell us 
That's what we've all been talking about. That everyone's saying that we've all gained the um, COVID twenty. Oh yeah, and I don't have a problem with it. You know, uh, if eating that if eating that whole gallon of ice cream makes me feel better for that moment, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think it looks pretty good, right? I think it looks beautiful. All right, now what? So you're gonna sew those two with the fabric strips together with a quarter inch seam allowance, but start one of the strips like two inches from the edge. So kind of stagger it. So, okay. so start two inches in and then no. stitch so all where the you, way down. Hold on a second. Where you place the fabric on top of it, you, they're right sides together, but the red one, move that one, only the red one over like two inches to stagger oh. it. Move it over. Yeah, because we're going to cut it. There we go. Great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, if you're going to cut it off, why didn't you just cut it shorter? Well, because what we're staggering the, um, when we cut the blocks, they're all uh, going to be cut on, on a triangle. Let me right? cut so the strips will be cut like that. So this is just wasting less fabric. Okay. So I have it staggered like that far. Yes. And then now, so um, a quarter inch seam allowance. Uh, I have my foot on there, which I love that foot, by the way. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I think I have that camera on. Hold on one sec. Let's see. Hold on one minute. Let me see if I can get my one on the machine. I thought it was plugged in, but oh, I got to plug one more cord in. Glenda, if there's one of those patterns that I can convert to a sleep dress, then I'll, I'm there because I love wearing sleep dresses around the house. It's so freeing and comfortable. So I'll look at her patterns and see if she has something like that. That would be fun to make. Okay. Got it. And it's ready. All right. I'll meet you over there. I even okay. have a fresh bobbin in there. Brother feet can't be beat. And I, I am fully there with you. I was obsessed with brother before I, I started working with them. And then now the more that I know, the more I love them. Like they're just amazing. All right. No back stitching, right? Um, no. I, you know, I'm having a hard time with that because now when I go to do my garments, I keep forgetting to back stitch. That yeah, could be I mean, a problem. If you, do, if you do, it's fine. Like. All the way to the end? Yes, please. For those that are just now joining us, um, the first half of it, Angela showed me what she made with the, the block that I taught her last time, and she's making an awesome a cape, a cape shirt with it, and it's gorgeous. And then now I'm going to teach her the second pound tooth block. And you know I'm what? I'm going to make something with this, too. I could do this on the back of the skirt. Nobody can see the front and the back at the same time. No, you could totally have two different parties going on in the skirt. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I don't stitch down here, right? We're all done. No. All right. And then press that. Press it open or to one side? Um, what did I do? I pressed it open, but do whatever you're going to do. And for, for those of y'all, when you do a seam like this, I'm really trying to make it happen. I'm going to say it everywhere I am. When you open your seams, I call them butterflying the seams, like when you butterfly chicken, like to cook it and you cut it open in the middle. That's what I'm trying to make happen with these kinds of seams. So let's call these the butterfly seams. You know what that's called? No, what is it? I just um, named it. it. I just named it. I know, but my sister did it with the chicken with the big old knife. Like, um, spatch oh, <laughs> yeah. Spatch cooking. Thanks, Marsha. Hey, everyone. All right, I'm pressing, but you can't see that because I don't have an I don't have a camera right here. But I'll be right back. It's okay. I'll take the towel. What are we gonna do? I'm learning a new TikTok dance. How does it go? Um, hold on. And then. Okay. Is that or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was entertaining or scaring them. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. 
So now I need you to, cr to create some triangles, a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. You have a ruler. Yeah. And then you'll need to cut the triangles lining up the 45 degree on the bottom and then just going back and forth. Oh, like which piece? With the strip. Oh, with the strip? Now both squares are where it's at. You're not doing anything else to them. Oh, okay. Let me make sure I got this right. So with this, I'm going to cut triangles like just 40, 45 degrees. Yeah, like this right here is two triangles sewn together to make a square. So you're going to slice like this is the, hold on. This right here is the bottom. Oh. So you're going to cut, hold on, let me tear it apart. Yes, I just ripped it. <laughs> and then, um, yes, I'm that guy. So it's gonna oh, be like, oh my gosh. This, right? So the strips are like that. Oh, okay. So then just like 40, like all, okay. Uh -huh. And they're all the same, right? Yeah. Okay, I can handle that. <laughs> the, a mini mask? We <laughs> <laughs> can make a beat. <laughs> oh god. All right. I'm going to cut. Oh, god. <laughs> I'll, I'll just come over here and do all the hard work while you um have I like being a bird. All right, 45 degrees. Hey Angela, you wanna know something? Angela, oh, I really like you. You're a really great human. I just wanted you to know that. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, well, you right know. Now. It's truth. Facts are facts and stuff. I wonder, do you have to have a triangle ruler to do this? No, I use... Um, How about like this? Can I just fold it like this? Yeah. Do it. And that would be 45 degrees? Uh-huh. That's how oh, I cut yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You use scissors a lot. I know. I shouldn't. Hey, Angela, Christina said that y'all need me on more of the lives. I would agree. They're really fun. Except you make me work. If you do work, then it's all you. <laughs> well, how about next time you can tell me to do something? Or next time I can, I can sew. I can sew the block and people can watch me and then you just do it off camera or whatever. That would be awesome. I can do that. So is that, like, you want it like that? Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. And now make that make another one. Going the other way. Like that. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, thanks, Lorraine. Thanks, Heather. Um I probably should use a ruler, but I can pretty much eyeball it's okay. it. Okay. I but no, honestly, you're 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 clearly a quilter now if that's how you're cutting your fabric, so that's it. You're you're you've converted. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how I measure. I'm like, ah, eh, whatever. It's close enough. Because any mistake you make in a quilt, you can quilt it out. So it's like, whatever. That's true. Although I told everyone yesterday I was quilting when I was putting all the pieces together, and I was informed that was not quilting. That was piecing. piecing. Well, yeah. Well, different terminology there. It was. You were ahead of yourself. You're not yet a quilter. You're a piecer. Okay, and I'm ready. Now, so two of the opposite ones. So I guess you'll need one more, two more strips to make, because you'll need um, three of each kind of triangle. Oh. So, um, yeah, we need we need two more, but you can do that later. Okay. And then so I have to go like this. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, Wanda, well, close enough. Close, it's close enough. Like, so sew these together with right sides together. With a half, with a quarter inch seam allowance, yes, please. And press to your heart's desire. Oh, I didn't show y'all what I made with my block. I want to see. So I made it. I turned it into a pillow. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. That's on the brother blog, isn't it? It is. I made it my blog to show how to turn a quilt block into a pillow, because. 
if y'all are quilters watching this and you have read my blog, but it's like, I know that I get so excited about every quilt pattern and like I get the fabric and I make one block or it's a demo block and then I never make any more and they all just sit there on a pile. So now it's like, just turn them into a pillow. And it was like, you intentionally did that, right? But that, that was on the Stitching Social um, blog if you want to learn how I turned it into an envelope back. Hey, thank it's you. My pile, Matthew. I just found a pile of one, two, three, four pairs of jeans that are cut out. I already even embroidered my logo on the pockets and I have not sewn them. I found them in my stash. The hard part's already over. All I gotta do is sew them. I tore out part of it, but here's the, um, the block. Oh, it's looking good. I can kind of see it coming together now. And I know that there's like always people that join at the end. Don't forget, you can watch this again on YouTube, on Brother YouTube or their Facebook page. And you can share it to your timeline, and that makes it really easy to find. Thank you, Doris. No messing around. Helen, Helen, according to my husband, I am. But um, I haven't been diagnosed or anything. All right. Maybe you're being silly. <laughs> but he's not being silly when he says I am. I'm like, I mean, whatever. i am just got to be me. Press open? Um, yes, I support pressing open. Okay, I kind of like the pressing open. I think it, um, that reminds me of like my garment sewing. I, well, the reason, and I think that's why I do it from garment sewing, but I, I prefer to press open because then you don't have to worry about where the bulk's gonna land. Like if I, I know if I know how I'm gonna piece it, then I'll like push them to the side and spin them. But like when it's open, it's like, you don't have to think. I don't like to think folks. I just like to go. <laughs> me too. Obviously, because I got those ones backwards, but I'm <laughs> You can say hi real quick. Hi. Hi, this is Helena. Hi, Helena. You wanna How are you? I'm coming over. I'm just pressing. Your dad is teaching me something really cool. Hold on, here I come. No, just say because just say hi. 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 Angela fishes too. She was really proud of the fish she caught. How big was it? Um, I can't remember. It was at least 300 feet. <laughs> it was this big. Okay, I'll be out later. Okay, I love you. <laughs> She's so cute. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank y'all. That was her live stream debut. She's uh, famous she, now. Her name is Helena, but she's called Little Miss Domestic. That's who she is. <laughs> yeah, trademark. Like, that's her. <laughs> oh, thanks, Linda. Oh, thank y'all. So you did it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you'll need one more, but that's okay. It's my fault. And then, um, so put them together. Like how? Well, like this. This is what you'll end up looking like because you'll need oh, one more. Oh, yeah, I get it. So it's going to look, okay, let me go back. I'll bring you to my cutting table. I gotta remember what camera we're on. Hold on. Okay, so I can't see you, so I have to kind of guess. Was it like this? Um. Uh -uh. uh yes you're doing it you're doing it you're doing it the one the one closest to me flip it it goes like rotate keep going there you go no 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 back back there you go and then you just need one more of those things one more of the um the triangle part oh that's super easy so then i just sew these seams together yeah. so these Together, uh -huh. so those, uh -huh. I'll just do these top two and then we'll leave this one for later. Okay. But, um, are do these look right? So they're all facing, yeah, they're the totally right, they're totally right. Like the two, the two that are horizontally aligned will go the same way, and then the two ones that are vertically aligned go the same way. So this one will be like well, this, it will, yeah. Okay, so I'll take this and I'll take this. I'm proud of you, Angela. 
Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this stuff is exit. This stuff is um addicting. It addicting. Is. You weren't kidding. Uh uh. Like honestly, y'all that don't know that are new to my journey as a, a creative and sewist and quilter and stuff. I was an apparel sewist at first, and I got into quilting to like learn the techniques and stuff, just to learn more. And then I, I can't, I haven't gotten out yet. It's like, it's fun. It's like art. It's really cool. This, yeah, absolutely. I was gonna turn this one into a pillow. I think I will, um, because I have a stack of orphan blocks. So Angela was like, "You have another block you could teach me," and I found it. So I think I'll turn it into a pillow. Wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just saw a big fly fly by. I'm wondering if the front door is open. If you see any squirrels, just let me know, okay? Because that's what happened last time, last year. Matthew, I had a squirrel that got in here, this little red one. He was so cute, but I could not get rid of him. And I finally got him outside. It only took like a day. He didn't make a mess or anything, but um, I finally get him outside. And guess what? He comes back to the front door and wants back in. <laughs> of course. He was like, it's comfortable in there. <laughs> How's that look? It looks beautiful. So on this one, is it okay if I press like the bulk going towards the plain fabric piece? Yeah, that's that's what well, when I do I did it because some of them you'll be able to and some of them you won't. But yeah, so those are the ones that I pushed to the side. Can you see the okay. seams? How I did them, and then I'll spin the seams. Do you know how to spin the seams? Uh, is that what the fun part where you have the four pieces and you spin them and then you uh -huh. yeah, let me. Uh huh. You do that on here too? Not on that one. Once you sew, once you sew the next one to it, then you can do it. Okay. Oh, that would be fun to, to show people if they don't know how to. Yeah, because I could not remember that word. I kept calling it marriaging the seams. That's not no. it. It's okay. I'm sure that someone right now is watching this and they're like, Mr. Domestic, that's not what it's called. It's called this. So, I mean, there's a bajillion ways to call things. I just make it up. Okay, so for the record, the front door is open, which is very frightening. Um, not that there's anybody that's gonna walk in, it's the creatures. I got a lot of squirrels out there. A new mascot. Laura, I've seen a black squirrel in Toronto. Do you have black squirrels, Angela? Do I have what? You have um, black squirrels where you are? Black, red. Brown. We have one in the backyard that we call Stump. He's missing his tail. And that that little guy's been around for four years. I didn't even know they lived that long. That is so cool. So Deborah does want to learn how to twist the seam. Um, I already forgot. Does it go like this? Um, or like no, like that. No. That? No. I'll go there you go. You have white squirrels? I've only ever seen, other than that black squirrel in Toronto, I've only ever seen the brown ones. When do, when do we get birds in our house too? Like they just don't want to leave. Oh, we feed the birds. I love the birds. All right. We're almost finished. How's it looking? And well, uh, let's see the other one. Am I being bossy? I don't want no. it. Okay, okay. I have to go press it real quick. Okay. Matthew, no one's gonna clock your teams. You don't gotta worry. You're supposed to be bossy because you're teaching me how to do this. I put my side eye glasses on. <laughs> All right. You just know that it's 86 degrees in here and you thought that we're up to 80. No, we're down to 84. Um, you just wanted to make me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm originally from Houston. And so like I grew up 100% humidity, 100% like 100 degrees or gross. Um, a fan. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So now you sew those two together, right sides together. Like that. Okay. Uh, to do those, those twisting the seams thing, it's yeah. like... Um, Rub it yeah. like yeah. that until it marriages. Uh -huh. And then the uh, the next two will go the opposite the opposite way. And then oh. you, you just alternate like that. Like I don't usually pin it and stuff. I just hold it till right before it gets under the foot. 
I'm thinking I have a problem. Houston, <laughs> look at this one's longer than the other one. I must have counted wrong. Well, that's not how it's supposed to be. But why don't <laughs> you just do do um do the first two the right way so we can show them how to spin the seams and then off camera you can um fix it. <laughs> yeah, this is just your practice block. Okay. Now I know why it has to be so precise. Yeah, that whole math thing. All right, so here we go. I've got this here. Oh, uh, someone's telling you to square it up. You know, there's that. We didn't do that part of it, Christina. Oh, do I just square it up first? Um, oh. allegedly, but let's show them spinning the seams. And my right. video on my YouTube channel, I think I try to do that. Okay, well, don't worry, guys. I just want to get the hang of this. When I do the one for the garments, I'll remember to square it up. Sharon said it's okay. Thanks, Sharon. It's okay, Angela. Now, I did a couple of these on the other outfit, and it, they some turned out okay and some did not. But this I can't finish because this is too long. I'll have to yeah, yeah, yeah. So just keep going till right before the seam line so that we can open it and show them how to fix these. I'm so proud of Angela. All right, I gotta sit over here with the fan for a moment with you. If you get, if you need my cell phone for the um, th thermostat, let me know. <laughs> wow. Actually, there goes Wynn. He's sweating more than I am. Oh, all right. What you ready for the final? Yeah, so you'll open it and then you'll spin the seams. Oh, look at that. Look at it. That's really pretty there. And then it so flip it on the other side. It can you go to a place where I can show them the seams and how to spin it? This one? Yeah. So there are two that are going the opposite direction. You, Hold that. You, oh, okay. Here you go. You need the, there, it's right here. That's the. Perfect. Sorry, everybody. Oh. No problem. No, they're, they're all giving high five. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope or whatever. Let's, yeah. Let, let's save Angela before she dehydrates or whatever. Oh, I have a huge glass of water. I, this is the only glass I had that could fill up. This is water, by the way. Um. So we got someone that's not letting go of the squaring it up. She's one of those hundred percenters, I can tell, which is great, Christina. You find your joy. Christina, don't worry. I'll do what I'll I'll fix it when I do my skirt. I just wanted to get this right. My version so. of squaring it up is just pulling it a little harder so that they both like match. <laughs> yeah. So like that. So you see how the um, ones that are horizontal are flipped the opposite way. Now the yeah. other the 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 vertical ones you can just they will go in a spiral to where oh. the bulk will be spiraled. That will be perfect. Yeah, and I have a video on that on my YouTube channel too, folks. If y'all wanted to see them, not that I'm trying to like promote my YouTube channel, but that's what I'm doing. You can do that, channel. and you know what? I just put your website down below too, in case somebody couldn't figure that out. So, yeah. did I get an A so far? A. That was all, for for a winging it kind of thing. Yeah. And 84 degrees, I would not have gotten on this if it was 84 degrees. <laughs> well, I am a trooper and I could not miss having been with you on the show because I wanted to see what was next and I had to like do a little bragging for the outfit that I'm doing. I'm really proud of you, honestly. Honestly, like for real, it's really cool. That's what I, I love. I love challenging someone who is up for the challenge because then you're going to push it to a place that no one would have thought of and it's super unique. Now you're gonna have a bevy of people doing both quilting and apparel in the world in the wolf pack. Oh! <laughs> hey, by the way, um, my sister said that was the best wolf pack um, howl ever. Yes. <laughs> All right, Vicky. I showed the skirt at the beginning. So if you go back and watch the beginning of this when we're finished live, I had to move the pieces out of the way because I'm still gonna sew them tomorrow. Um, on the show because we're giving away a brother sewing machine tomorrow, so I'll finish the skirt uh, for tomorrow. Am I eligible to win a brother sewing machine? <laughs> you are not eligible. Okay. I heard something turn on. <gasps> oh. 
That's the sound of heaven, folks. That's <laughs> right there. But I'm like, when said, when said, boy, you're looking good today. I go, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I wish I had was my wife beater shirt. Cause then I, that's like what I usually wear when I'm sweating to death on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh so matthew what are you working on these days um i mean i'm honestly doing a bunch of crochet because my next collection is crochet inspired that comes out in august my fabric collection so like i'm trying to like bring the crocheters over to sewing and want to like play with my fabrics um I, I, made, I made this pouch i'd never made one before it was in a oh. box yeah, i made pouches before but i never made like a double zipper one and now it's That's like, this is, this is my most, and then on the other side, there's another zipper. Oh, nice. Right? Like that's super cool. I want to make more of this. I use this, I go around and it's got a little frog on it. But that's I like stuff like this. And then I did, um, I was working on something for someone else, but then I, that one, that went to put. So there's that. And then that's it. Lots of pride oh. stuff. Cause pride is come, pride month is next month. So I always go to town about that. Just so oh, everyone yeah. knows it. Like, I'm Hold on, I got to look at my stash. You got to see this. So, now I don't think, I don't think I can add quilting to any of this, but this is the stash I found. And I'm going to have gray jeans. <laughs> and I'm going to have red jeans by the time I'm finished here. I've got black cut out. I'm overachiever, right? Yeah. And yellow. Who doesn't want a pair of yellow jeans? <laughs> I mean, that's just what I've been wanting. I've been asking everyone to get me a pair of yellow jeans for like a holiday or something, and no one will do it. They think I'm kidding. <laughs> I love this. I'm going to be like, uh... <laughs> I mean, you know, do it. Go for it. I support you. Explore yourself. <laughs> Actually, yellow jeans were in like two years ago, and that's when I cut these out. But oh. I'm thinking, you know, if I make them into crop pants and put like a white, um, like gauzy shirt with some embroidery on it, that I think it'll be great. And if it's not, if I'll use to pull off the yellow pants, it's you, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone saying, yes, your shirt says it right. Oh, I love your shirt. Yeah, that's my shirt. <laughs> You can get it in my merch store because I've got merch. Sharon just said, um, I can make you a pair. No, I need a shirt. I make jeans. You make your own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, banana lady. There you go. Make it, there you go. Oh, if that's a change, I'll make some jeans. What? I'll make them and I'll, I'll rock them in one of these. And I'll be like, I'll do some sachet, sachet chante up and down the, the runway for you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give you a challenge. I have to think about it. Oh, um, your new fabric that looks like um, the bathing suit I was telling you about. I saw some of your new, is that your new fabric that's not coming out to August that looks like a crocheted web? Uh -huh. That out. Uh -huh. It's gorgeous. When that comes out, we have to do a challenge with that okay. because that looks like the bathing suit I wanted to crochet. And now I don't have to crochet it. I can just buy you your fabric. Sew it. You can just sew it. Mm-hmm. Very cool. So, um, okay. uh, let's see. I have to give you a challenge. <laughs> How about, hmm, what could I give you? Um, you already know how to make garments. Well, it's been a while. I have to get a pattern for Helena. Okay. You make her something. Okay. I'll have that I'm before the next. Before our next show together, I'll put that together. Okay, I'm down, so, let's do it. <laughs> and yeah. so yeah. I, I have to um, take this and put it into a garment before our next show. And, and, I'll it, and I'll make a dress for Helena. That sounds perfect. Yeah, why not? This is fun. I like people telling me what to make because then I don't have to think, I love it. Oh, Barbara says you need to make one of my tops. Oh, not I'll tell you do you have do you have a pattern like a knit pattern that I could convert into a sleep dress? Yeah, I want to make that. That would be fun. Okay, I'm gonna make I'll that. So, yeah, who needs sleep dresses. Like, who needs to wear pants right now? Like, I don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody today. 
<laughs> With all of the Zoom meetings, oh, the Linda tunic, that would be a good sleep dress. Mm. Yes. <laughs> we need to make more. Oh, the wolf pack. Okay, so I'm going to meet with the wolf pack. We're going to come up with something good for you. Okay, okay. I'm up for a challenge. Make it hard. I'll do it. And I think it'll be great with your rayon fabric. I love them. My rayons. They feel really good. <laughs> well, Matthew, um, I hope you have a great day. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. I had fun with y'all, Wolf Pack. Oh! Like that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so don't forget that you can um, follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram's right up there. And our websites are right down here. Also, go to brothersos.com. If... Hi, Wynn. <laughs> if you would like to um, get the newsletter. So this is our last week of everyday live shows. But the good news is, Matthew, we are still doing live shows um, a couple days a week on Brothers. So oh, okay. I cannot if wait. To come. If I'm cool enough to come back, let me know. Well, of course you're cool enough to come back. I can hardly wait. Yay. Thank you for having me. Honestly, it was really fun. Everybody's saying thanks. And thanks, everyone, for... Um, not making me feel too bad for just learning how to quilt, but hey, you got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's thinking it's the house. <laughs> you, you guys are welcome. Great. You, and welcome. And uh, don't forget to go check out his YouTube uh, channel to watch that. The rest of this. I'm going to go make this a little better. Thanks, Esther. <laughs> Black squirrels in Kent. <laughs> Oh, well, have a wonderful day. And Matthew, I can't wait to see you again. I'll see you on Instagram. Bye. Bye, everybody. Do I just hang up? Is it over? Goodbye. Goodbye. No, don't hang up yet. Don't hang <laughs> up. Don't hang up. Goodbye.